Hello everybody, this is a short introduction to what is Mimosa. Here is some general information about Mimosa. Mimosa name comes from the Machinery Information Management Open System Alliance and it is a not for profit trade association composite of industrial asset management system providers and industrial asset end users. The Mimosa member community is made up of various entities, including, for example, process and discrete manufacturing companies, military organizations, capital equipment manufacturers, etc., such as Boeing, Rockwell, and US Navy. The goal of MIMOSA is to connect the separate islands of engineering, maintenance, operations and reliability information to one entirety. Its goal is to develop information integration specifications to enable open integrated solutions for managing complex high-value assets. MIMOSA's open standards enable collaborative asset lifecycle management in both commercial and military applications. And here are some reasons why to use MIMOSA. Typically, engineers, business users, workers, etc. focus on assets is very different. Poor communication and wrong information to wrong people can create problems, lower efficiency or even catastrophic situations. Adopting the MIMOSA standards can help close this gap, avoid hazardous situations and optimize the development and integration of business processes, systems and the various groups of people that use them. And here are some benefits of MIMOSA. There is only one non-priority application programming interface API to learn. Standardized data exchange control it through the standard API. Reduce integration issues by using the standard API. Increase its security when using the secure socket layer SSL protocol and increase its savings by reducing the cost of development and support since major architecture designs are complete, and so on. And this slide tells about MIMOSA related standards and availability of it. MIMOSA complies with ISO 13374 condition monitoring and diagnostics of machines, data processing, communication and presentation. Part 1. General Guidelines and ISO 13374 condition monitoring and diagnostics of machines, data processing, communication and presentation. Part 2. Data processing. MIMOSA is available from www.mimosa.org and it runs under SQL Server, which can be downloaded from www.microsoft.com. It's also available in Oracle and XML formats. And here is also some useful information about MIMOSA. Actually, MIMOSA contains a lot of information, hundreds of tables link it together. And in reality, it would be a really time-consuming exercise to collect as much information and build a similar database from scratch. MIMOSA also supports the idea of distributed database. For example, physically, the data can be scattered around the world. This picture tells the management of the maintenance information in MIMOSA. Typically, MIMOSA is divided for diagnostics and prognostics module, reliability, work management, 
static trendable condition monitoring, register management and enterprise information, sample and operational event logs, dynamic vibration sound, condition monitoring, register management, physical geopatial tracking and blob image monitoring. Typically registry management is the first part what you have to fill to Mimosa. It means that you have to name the enterprise, give your sites and the machines in your sites and the components of your machines and the measurement locations. And this information is used by OEM model information systems, asset register information systems, maintenance management systems, piping and instrumentation design systems. Reliability part allows the access to reliability study information related to segment, asset or a serialized asset. It allows the access to information associated with hypothetical causal networks, reliability center and maintenance information, as well as actual failure events. And it's typically used by reliability information systems, failure modes, effects and criticality analysis systems, and reliability center and maintenance analysis systems. Work management part allows the creation of a new work request in a work management system for a segment or a serialized asset. Allows the access to work orders and work order steps and actual work completed information. Also allows the access to pre-planned work packages. And this is typically used by maintenance management systems. Diagnostics, Prognostics, Health Assessment module. It enables access to human or smart agent generated current and or future proposed asset health states, current and or future proposed diagnostic failure modes and casual trees, remaining useful life predictions and recommendations. Also allows access to measurement evidence supporting the diagnosis or prognosis, typically used by diagnostic and prognostic systems. Dynamic vibration sound condition monitoring part enables the creation and access to historical dynamic measurements, use it with vibration and sound monitoring and including frequency spectrum measurements and time waveforms abnormal data, alarms, and operational event logs, typically used by vibration condition monitoring systems and sound condition monitoring systems. Static trendable condition monitoring part. It enables the creation and access to historical scalar measurements, abnormal data alarms, and operational event logs, typically used by process data historians, process condition monitoring systems, and operational data systems. Oil, fluid, gas, solid tests condition monitoring. This part enables the creation and access to historical fluid, air, and solid sampling data abnormal data alarms and operational event logs, typically used by oil, air and solid sampling condition monitoring systems. Binary data thermographic condition monitoring module. This module enables the creation and access to historical binary large objects, measurements used with thermography and image monitoring, abnormal data alarms and operational event logs, and typically used by thermographic condition monitoring systems, 
and image monitoring systems. Physical geospatial tracking enables the storage of physical geospatial location information associated with assets or segments. Use it by logistic management systems or geographic information systems. And here is some information about Mimosa terminology. Terminology dictionary actually exists. Asset is the key element below the Mimosa definition. Typically it is physical non-intelligent instantiated object. An asset may be an entire facility or an entire functioning system or a component of a machine such as a tire of a car. Each asset is associated with exactly one asset type. An asset can be associated with a top-level segment, for example machine, and these assets form the complete segment. An asset can be monitored via measurement locations, be associated with work. Mimosa is also very well documented. All tables are defined and can be viewed and their contents is also available in paper format. Examples of structure are given in unified modeling language format. PowerPoint presentations are available, for example, Mimosa Open System Architecture for Enterprise Application Integration, OSA EAI. Primer PowerPoint presentation, 171 slides. The presentation gives an idea how Mimosa is used, the structure, unified modeling language drawings, examples explaining terminology. And here is a typical example of unified modeling language of Mimosa. First, you must enter the enterprise information and its type. Then you have to enter site information and site types. Then comes segments, for example, the machines of your sites and their types. Then comes assets, for example, the components of your machines and their types. And all of this information is inserted to database where the manufacturer and the agent have an access. And here is some experiences about Mimosa. First, it was used in dynamic decision in maintenance dynamite project at VTT and the idea was to link the work of 16 partners together. Dynamite was EU IP project and VTT was the coordinator. And here is also the list of other participants. And we can say that at that time and even today, the unplanned maintenance covered 30% of the industrial maintenance, scheduled maintenance 55% of industrial maintenance and condition-based maintenance only 15% of industrial maintenance. And EU's future is definitely dynamic decision-based maintenance and wireless communication together including smart sensors and etc. and this whole package we can call also e-maintenance, which was the primary target of the Dynamite project. And here you can see the DynaWeb platform, which was developed during the Dynamite project. And here is also the example how the PDA communicated in DynaWeb, typically using USB or WLAN and 
from there to local support station and via network to the server which was located in Tallinn. Some literature about the e-maintenance is given in this slide. Here was the principles of Mimosa. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.